Well, tomorrow, the DCU Center in Worcester, the first field hospital in the state, will be open to receive coronavirus patients. And it will open in a city hit hard. As of last night, doctors had diagnosed 398 people in Worcester with coronavirus. WBZ's Christina Hager got a tour of the newly transformed facility to see exactly how doctors are preparing. <laughs> As the flurry of activity before opening day intensifies, so does the plea for more protective gear, like this gown that replaces an N95 mask. If you have to work a 12-hour shift, you want a papper on. Unfortunately, we have very, very few pappers. If anyone has pappers out there, we could really use them here. The DCU Arena and Convention Center is now a buzzing coronavirus field hospital, ready for some 20 patients immediately. And we would anticipate uh, within the next couple of weeks being 50, 100. So this is going to go up and over, right? I was really just a medical student, you know, a week ago. Grant Lewandrowski is one of many early med school grads who answered the call. There is a, an amount of fear, and, you know, I have a family myself, and, you know, I have, you know, my own health. He's been training. Uh, this allows you to get a visualization of where you are as you intubate. In an intricate setup. The field hospital intensive care beds are equipped with a monitor and defibrillator. Normally, COVID-19 patients are isolated in their hospital rooms. But here, since everyone else is a COVID patient or a staff member in full protective gear, so patients are free to walk around, use the bathroom, take a shower. It's much more comfortable. There's endless copper tubing pumping in oxygen from tanks outside. The oxygen will be a big part. And a web of computer cables for life-saving machines and patient portals. There's an x-ray room at a farm I don't think anyone could be fully ready. None of us have been specifically trained in doing this, but the idea is to be adaptable. UMass Memorial Medical Center's facilities have been jammed with more than 100 COVID patients to date. This will take some of the less critical off that load and into the hands of those ready to help here. If not us, uh, there's no one else to do it. In Worcester, Christina Hager, WBZ News.